Hi guys, welcome back to Factorio. I haven't really done what I said I was going to do, so I'm a dirty liar, I guess, or something. I don't know. Um, but I'm going to tell you why, because I think I, I think I have another theory for the problem here, and I think it's something I've always done with my factories. I'm not, I'm, I'm not too sure. I, I won't lie, I'm not too sure. I got two more factory models to put in. All right, so I was thinking about it more and more. I'm like, damn it, I'm going to have to add another line. You know, I'm like, where is my production issues and all that kind of stuff? And I think I, I think I think I see where the issues are now with my uh, my my line here. So first off, I'm gonna just disconnect uh, this line, uh, this uh, thing here. I know it's gonna fuck up the factory, but uh, it's for a good cause, I assure you. Um, so these guys can just go when they're done, right? Yeah. So we actually do have copper. Uh, where is the copper? It's in these trains. Why is it in the trains? Because it's not unloading fast enough. Um, that's the problem. It's not like I've been judging it too much based upon if trains are waiting. I'm like, oh, because then all the stops are, you know, being used and stuff like that. That isn't the problem, actually. The problem is that we do have copper. It's just not coming off the line fast enough. And so I've been working this whole thing out as if, like, I needed to, you know, do something like weird with this and I actually don't think I do I think I think I do already have the solution in place I think it's just like we need more copper coming off the trains faster um because I mean if they rotate out I, I don't care like if they rotate out the trains so we're gonna change how this uh the system works here uh that's how we're gonna do this this is I'm gonna try this as the trial also I've made a two more furnace lines right here actually while this is emptying out um, we might as well uh, just kind of work on this just slightly to have it eventually come down there I honestly think I think that might be what the, the solution is here um, I think we need the trains to unload faster for um, this is not something I've ever thought about because like as I said I don't make it to the end game that often um, I've only made it out I can count the number of times I've made it to death world end game on probably one hand uh, like probably like you know like probably three times in total uh, but this is always a problem I do have which is like my ore uh, doesn't come come down fast enough so uh, you know I, I, I don't necessarily know how to fix that uh, except in this case I think I th I think I do have enough ore because this is I noticed in I looked at my last death world that I did like just regular death world not like fucking desert or whatever. Uh, this is a 1.5, and I always had trains waiting. I always had trains waiting to, to empty off their cargo. And I've always done my stops like this, which is like, you know, one one train per stop, and it loads into one furnace. Uh, okay, sorry, it used to actually load into one furnace, I think. Maybe it's two furnaces. Two, two lines of furnaces, that is. Basically, this already as it is, this line right here, this is more than I've ever put into a Death World uh, run. Uh, I won't lie, it's it's the most I've ever done. But, you know, whatever. So I'm going to actually try to do something a bit more creative here. So we're going to try and equalize this bit. Oh, also I fixed the copper line up here. It's uh, Now this actually is unloading properly. Uh, just letting you know that as well. Uh, so I'm going to just kind of give this a bit more, I guess. So yeah, I'm going to have both sides unload uh, for a singular kind of line but we need them to kind of finish up what they're doing yeah i know they're fucking waiting up here uh hopefully i don't have more trains than that uh fuck dude uh hopefully that's all the copper trades I'm, I'm really hoping right now okay good get the fuck out of here uh yeah i'm just i'm waiting for this these things to finish unloading because i i need to make my new layout here i figured this would we do this together because this is some un uncharted territory for me as well Fucking hell, how many fucking iron things do we have here? Holy shit. God, this is gonna be here forever. Oh my god. It's so much. I know it's gonna like eat up all the fucking shit in the factory, but there's nothing I can do. It's for a good cause, I assure you. It's to fix uh, fix the inefficiency I th have with this. This is what I mean about Death World is crazy about uh, even the smallest inefficiencies like this. Like, it's just insane. 
what what it will do to you and like how how crippling it is at times just trying to like equalize some of this stuff but and then when it gets to a certain point oh fuck just put it all in there when it gets to a certain point yeah because you can see it's actually not actually putting it inside the furnaces that fast because it's not coming out that fast not being used that quickly wow but it's fully compressed. It's because of the middle line. It's always the fucking middle line, man. But the middle line, I I mean, will get used eventually because of this stuff here. I mean, I could just make the other um, the other line of uh, yeah. Well, while it's empty, we'll we'll just make the other place where the chips are gonna be made. And I don't know if we're gonna divert anything to it immediately. Probably not. But we could we could we could just do all the the prep work, I guess. So we got one of these again. Um, this might mean that we need to bring some additional stuff over. But first off, we need the coal to actually kind of not be retarded. So it's just a... Hopefully the coal is actually being used. Looks like that is actually being used. So that is the case. Okay, not really used fast enough though. Is the problem. Yeah, luckily it's not being used that fast. How's the how's our petroleum doing? Holy shit! Okay, maybe we'll do that too. Okay, this is like the episode where we try and fix some stuff up. So while that's going, let's see how it's going now. Still just unloading. This is what I mean. It's not um, it's not using it fast enough. That's what it is. It, that's actually the, that is the problem. That is the problem. I have trains constantly waiting to uh, offload their tar their cargo. Uh, it's. Yeah, it's 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 actually a completely different problem than the one I anticipated. Um, so yeah, that's where we're gonna fix it. Uh, can I get some more of these things? We need some stone bricks and stuff. This music seems so serious, though. I right, need some more green chips, though. We always need green chips. All right, looks like this is done now. So now we can just basically take that like that. Just want to add some more refineries because we don't have, we we're not actually producing like we've we've upped our sulfuric acid intake and stuff like that. So it's like yeah, so that's pretty good. All right, so we're gonna take our bl nice blueprint tool out. So we'll just like copy and paste it kind of like this. Uh, apparently I got the other one in there too. It's all good though. Maybe it's not all good. Hopefully we don't get run over by our own trains. Fuck. Get out of here. Thank you. All right. Uh, this is like some heavy risk, but this is the, this is, uh, what the fucking game wants from me, so. Alright, let's just remove all this. Alright. So we can just kind of do this. What's your problem here? Oh, because this is not how it's supposed to be. How many more do we need of these guys? Probably not that much more, right? Yeah, it's so beautiful how it just comes together and traps me in here. It's so nice. All right. Uh, how much more do we need? Because we have enough crude oil coming in here. 20k, apparently. So who knows? Maybe we'll need another crude oil train, too, on top of that. It's always nice, you know. Let's, uh, let's do something here. We're gonna put one more in here. This is the last one that we need. All right, that looks pretty good. All right, that's uh, that's basically as much uh, crude oil processing as I think we can handle for now. It should up the petroleum now. I hope. Just sulfuric acid is such a pain in the ass. What can I say? 
how much sulfuric acid do we have? Okay, so that's that's good. It's just it's it's genuinely just limited by petroleum. But hopefully because we up this, now the crude oil is gonna be used too. But don't worry, because where is the oil train at? Hopefully it's not stopped somewhere. It is fucking stopped somewhere. Fuck you again. Yeah. Alright. Uh, we're gonna have to fix that. I don't know how that actually happened. Uh, that should never happen. That's the whole point of train signals and having it wait and things like that. Okay, so that would explain why oil is no longer coming down here. Why? Why did you do that? Do I need to, like, chain signal the last one, I think? I probably do, actually. Because look at it, it's just started going in here. I don't know why it went in here. How do we fix this? Oh my god, they're basically colliding. Alright, alright, you need to go back slightly. John manual. Let's just fix this shit. I, I, I actually genuinely don't know how this occurred. Can I say robots are stupid? Alright, no, 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 you're trying to go on the other side. There you go, my friend. This one probably needs to be a chain signal too. It probably was filled up at some point, that's likely what happened. So that, that way it actually has to make a decision. Actually, I don't need to drive it anymore. Automatic, go. Alright, you can now go automatic as well. Because if that's a chain signal, then it makes the decision process about which, which lane is free, and then goes in. Alright, so is this done? It's looking almost done. Whatever. How much is in this one? Alright, just like offload some of it here. Oh my god, they're actually all filled up now. Please don't more copper trains. No! Uh, you need to you need to leave. Get the fuck over to copper. No, no, no. Get the fuck over to copper one. Goodbye. See, because there's a chain signal now, there's a hold up now. <laughs> Get out of your trains. Fuck. Dude, like, it's shutting down the entire factory. This is why we have these waiting things, but fuck it all, man. Alright, alright. Alright, just, dude, just get rid of this somehow. I just, I, I just want this gone with. Alright, let's just start deleting some of this crap. Alright, this is now the time of which we get to shine with our efficient practices. Alright, good, good. Okay, we can just delete all of this now. So I'm still using these because I, I mean, it's it's not a bad idea. If I if I mistakenly send a train somewhere, uh, like let's say one that that has like the wrong kind of materials, this actually works in the fact that you know I prevent it from doing any damage. So I actually I'm actually not opposed to the way I do this right now. All right, so this is the faster unloading. And I guess we just kind of mirror this thing, or I don't think we can. Because how does this unload? Yeah, up top, so. Actually needs to be more like this now. It needs to be like that. So this is this is something I figured we'd, we'd do as a, as a group here. All right. All right, so that's not so bad. Uh, and how do I do this right now? Oh, yeah, it goes on to yellow belt. Uh, yeah, I'll just kind of go like this then. And we have a red splitter here. And like I said, now now these are going to be spaced out way further. But like, look at, look at this. It's actually unloading it far faster now. Which is good. Um, it's not spending as much time here, uh, which is kind of actually was one of the end goals. Um, doesn't mean though that we have to now erase most of the. Oh shit. Uh, 
Yeah, just ignore that. Alright, so... We can just get rid of all this. Fuck this shit. Uh, it's probably too much for it, honestly. But yeah, this, this looks pretty good, actually. This is kind of what we wanted. Alright, so... Let's uh, copy this this thing as well. Uh, let's see. So, something like that. So if we just do the same thing again, like right here. Uh, we don't want the fucking... Man, try to copy this shit. I'm just gonna remove it from the blueprint. I mean, that's really difficult to see. I'm even, I'm even, I'm even, I'm not even gonna put this stuff over here. I'm just gonna solve that when I get there. So there you go. Now it will unload uh, the identical trains twice as fast. And I just realized I didn't actually copy over the blueprint properly. Let's do something like this. Uh, yeah, something like that instead. So I think, yeah, let's do, just copy it again. Fuck it, just do it again. Oh, fucking hell. Like, sir, give me some food. Alright. Um, so this no longer needs to be here. Uh, fucking hell. So, how was I doing this before? Oh, I see. Okay, I see it's one of my mistakes here. My... God, this looks so confusing, but it's actually for the best. It's actually for the best. <laughs> oh, I, I'm actually just amused by this now. All right, this gets us two lines of iron like this, or sorry, whatever. All right. Yeah, I know. The, the entire factory is practically on, like, shutdown right now because of this crap that I'm doing right now. But it's for the best. Because I think this will actually solve everything. Because the, the, the trains are now no longer spending a lot of time here. So it means they can spend more time loading up rather than offloading. Alright, so that's that makes it for that one. Oh my god, this looks. this is actually the messiest shit I've ever done. I wish I, I wish I could perfectly mirror it, which I could. Well, you can see now they now they actually cycle through this much faster, which is I think what the problem was. That's that's well one of the problems. Uh, but we'll see at the end of this what it actually was in the end. Oh wait, what the hell? Why is there a pipe here? Oh, because reasons. Yeah, we can move some of this. We can have it go all the way in. So, like I said, at least this way, like, it's filling up and getting rid of stuff really fast. In fact, we can even go one up and say... Yeah, it's... Actually, no. The fuel is just not really an issue here. I mean, eventually, maybe you want to power our trains with rocket fuel, too, you know? That day may come. Alright, so that's the second line, uh, which it cannot reach, so... We need to... Yeah, there's speed module 3. Hello, speed module 3. Uh, so what's the last thing I need for this one? I need this one now. Alright. I, I also didn't make the other thing here yet, but that's okay. So then this thing started to fill up now. Alright, alright, alright. That looks... That actually looks pretty nice. Um... Kind of looks really nice here. You know what? Very pretty. Oh shit, what the fuck? Oh. Oh shit. The trains are fucking crazy, man. Dude, it, it, they're just so, like, they, they're they so daunting because they're so robotic and, like, can kill you and shit, you know? Well, I mean, obviously trains IRL can kill you too, but, you know. Oh fuck. We lost, boys. 
Why do I have so much fucking copper right now? Because I've been doing shit with this. But yeah, that, holy shit, they do not spend a lot of time here at all. What the fuck? I still think this is a I still think this is a good idea, but I, I may come to regret this in time. I have a lot of regrets in my life. And I may have just made one of them into reality. Alright. Holy shit, they do not spend much time here at all. I actually it's because that the, the these chests are completely empty, that's why. But this is how long it takes to holy fucking shit. Just getting rid of it all. That's actually that's actually pleasant. That's actually really nice. So I kinda like this, but I would like to make it more symmetrical. Oh, it, it can't actually be because the way this works. But we can actually do something like this. That looks that looks kinda pretty, guys, don't you think? I, I know this is like the weirdest thing to talk about when it comes to things like fucking industrial factories and things like that, but I imagine that like in like I don't know like fucking like Tesla's factory that's that's all the engineers do is like fucking like I don't know why I'm bringing up Tesla actually fuck Tesla expensive ass cars um, that I want uh, and, you know it just it kind of works out like this it looks kind of nice you know and I can just fucking mess around with this and make it even nicer look at, look at that such it's so beautiful comes out into like three a bunch of straight lines and that's it all right so we need to do the same thing again uh yep so we're gonna do another blueprint here this is what we need to do every time just something like this maybe Here we go again. So we have that line and the other line to do now. I may not have done this right. Yeah, that's coming down to here. You know what, no, I actually don't like this. I think I didn't do this right. Let's just delete this real quick before anyone notices. Uh, fuck. Alright. Probably needs to be, yeah, I probably just need to copy and paste this. And then deal with the end part later. Yeah, there's, there's like a thought, something's fucked up here. Because I've been messing around with this so much. Oh my god, which one is it? I don't even know which one it is anymore. Yeah, what the hell is your problem now? Okay, you're out, you're out of power, I understand that. Your complaints are going to be duly taken under advisement. We need to have the both sides going here. I think this is the one. No, it's not the one. That's the one. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's all fucked up here now. That's okay. This is this is what we do in the name of uh, factory science or something. All right. I don't know how I'm going to flip this to the other side. I do this right? Yeah, I did do this right. Ah, uh, there you go. Now, now they're actually waiting here, but they're waiting here for uh, half the time. Okay. That is why this is better. Uh, they're waiting here for half the time. And so this, this means that if there is actually an ore issue, uh, then that's going to be much more uh, prevalent. Uh, we're going to be able to see it, actually. Okay, maybe maybe we don't need to do quite do this. Yeah, it's probably overkill. All right, there you go. That's now we're hooked back in, and now the last part of the stop is going to be this side, um, which we need to basically just kind of pretend like we're making another side, like this, and we tell it to delete this half.
And there you go. We basically have the number of stations for not much uh, problems, which um, which we may want to do with the, the iron side as well if we ever get to that point, but I don't think we need to. So this will mean that the trains will cycle in much faster uh, and we'll get much more iron out of this, uh, sorry, much more copper out of this too. Wow, I can't, I can't believe that was the problem actually. I mean, it may not be, but yeah. We need some more of these things now. Because uh, that's, that's, that's just what I thought to myself, was like, I'm like, I, 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 I feel like making more copper mines isn't, it wasn't the play, you know? And I'm sorry if you were yelling at me in the last video, but like, it's just, uh, you know, solving these problems, it's like, uh, you know, you, it's, it's a funny game. It's one where you, you, you cause the problems that you have to solve yourself, you know? And then with experience, you become much better at it, but, you know, it's just one of those funny things. Yeah, look how many trains are fucking waiting here now. So, like, we seriously don't need more copper mines. I didn't have to go out for those. Alright. Go ahead and... That's insane how that kind of just works out. Now, we can support an additional... Uh, copper uh, stop, uh, but that would mean drastically more uh, lines, obviously, first off. And the second problem with that, also I could blue belt these. That also would probably fix some of the uh, issues with belting this crap over, but whatever. It's fine for now. Okay, we've solved it, I think, for now. Well, I mean, we'll obviously have to wait a little bit to see if this comp smooths out um but i'm also gonna say like because of the fact that we just saw that copper kind of fuck up a little bit maybe we should now i think i you know i think the amount of stations we have waiting is actually perfectly fine because like i said they should be they shouldn't actually be waiting here they should be waiting at the other stuff so yeah like look at this this is perfect this is actually perfect i i've now like dropped the amount of stops down drastically and, um, I, like, by the way, this is probably not what I would have done to start the run. I, I, I would likely have not have done that, uh, because we didn't need that many trains, but I definitely would have done things like, you know how I do with the furnaces, you know, I kind of leave space there. Uh, I probably would have done that, though. You know, I just left some space there. This is so cool, actually. Uh, we'll just, uh, do that. This goes in and out, in and out. That's all we want. Now, if we see that the that ore is running out here, then we'll know that the problem is not enough copper trains or or trains. But the thing is, though, because of the fact that they're spending more time at the bases, that means they're spending more time filling up. Look at that. See, they're filling up more. That's what we wanted. So, ta-da! I'm a fucking genius. Maybe I don't know. Uh, it's still yet to be remain to be seen, but you know, we'll see. So we've definitely filled up this side of the map here. There's definitely no more. And I, God, I don't even want to look at the power usage. Oh dear God! <laughs> Fucking all reached that 480 megawatts, uh, much sooner than I anticipated. Um, all right, so this is one additional line. How many more? Did, how many do we need here? So I want to make another additional copper line. Let's see, how many is being used here? So two lines is needed. We only made one, so maybe we do need another fucking furnace line. Fucking shit. How am I gonna make that happen? I mean, I could put like two of them down here or something and then have like the belts come over there or something or... The thing is it would require another kind of train stop, which is probably a little bit more than I was actually banking on. And, and you know what, I'll be honest with you, I really don't think we'll have enough for that, because look at this shit. Yeah, it's, it's, they've officially unloaded all of their cargo into these dual stops. So, I don't think we can do that. Well, let's see, maybe, maybe we don't even need to, because you know what I'm thinking of? Um, this middle line really doesn't use 
this as fast as... I, I think we do need green chips, but we don't need them that fast. So what I'm thinking of doing actually is priority splittering it to the output to the right, and then and dealing with it from there. That's what we're gonna do, actually. So, first things first, we, split, we take that off and then we decide, how do we get a five to five? Uh, oh, this is a five to five. Okay, how do we get a six to six splitter? There's your six to six splitter. Or balancer, sorry. Fuck. Oh, goody. Just gonna put it into those things. Yeah, whatever. Come, come get them bots. I keep forgetting it's in the same bot network and confuse the shit on me when it de they decide not to do that. I have a lot of speed modules too. Go figure. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna touch the uh, other lines I have quite yet. Instead, do something like this. I have, I have a, I have a huge amount of trouble. Why, like, look how, look how it looks when I walk across this thing. It's fucking insane, dude. Holy shit! All right, so we're gonna do something like this. There's our blue belts. All right. Uh, next things. Next, we do this. Some fucking crazy shit here. Uh, looks like it works out perfectly fine. I don't know how many problems will be here. And then probably right after this, after the break, what I'll likely do is I will uh, add some steam turbines here for auxiliary power, because I don't know, man. Do I need another set of <laughs> nuclear reactors? I don't think I do. I don't think I do, because I, I can make 480 megawatts. As long as I can handle the spikes, it's fine. Um... Man, if by the end of this I actually do need that, it's insane. Maybe, maybe, I, maybe it really would be good to efficiency module things. Is what? It's the furnaces. It's always the furnaces that eat that. And I'd rather not use, like, having another line of that stuff, man. It's annoying. It is actually really annoying. All right, what do we actually need here? We need a little bit of everything. So let's go get that. So that's kind of crazy how that works out. But yeah. Like I said, I, I actually have never scaled a, a Death World base quite like this. So uh, we're in, we're encroaching on some new territory. Like I said, I kind of just dealt with the the lack of uh, resources kind of coming in it through my own special ways, which was just kind of like waiting. All right, I think we may need more poles. No, we don't. Okay, but this time I'd I'd like to do things correctly. Um, you know, if there is an inefficiency or something. Whoops. Whoa! I actually I actually fucking rammed that thing. Wow. All right. Is that a train on the ground? That is a train on the ground. All right. I I, I mean. I mean, that seems like a weird thing to say, like how I barely could spot the train on the ground, but that's how crafty things work. You can put, you can put trains on belts. <laughs> uh, people have complained about this uh, in the past, but yeah. Now it works. All right. Uh, is this iron completely being used? It actually isn't. Um, still doesn't mean I should, shouldn't just take it offline somehow. Huh. Oh, do I have... Oh, I actually ran out of assembly machines. Whoops. I didn't realize that. Alright, let's see how the oil is doing. Okay, it's going up slowly. Uh, it's having trouble using light oil. Or getting rid of it. How's it having trouble getting rid of it? This... This, um... This pipe is full of light oil. I think. Oh, no, 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 it's just, it's just full over here. It can't get rid of it. All right, well, um, you know, we luckily have a solution for that. Uh, so basically, um, it, it can't get rid of the light oil fast enough, so we're gonna fix that too. So this is something that I didn't, un wasn't unforeseen either. That's why we check on the oil once in a while to see where the problem areas lie. Um, oh shit. 
Okay. Alright. Just ram everything. Alright, uh, so let's get some more fast inserters, first off. Second off, what was I gonna get? Oh yeah, I was gonna get the, the nice assembly machines. We'll just, we'll just take all of them, I don't care. What's the second thing it needs? Oh, it just needs speed things? Oh, well I have, I actually have a shit ton of speed modules. Fuck. Need to get rid of these somehow. Alright, not too bad. I, I should actually make speed module threes though. Holy shit, wait, blue chips are actually backed up. What the fuck? When did this happen? Oh, red chips are the problem now. Oh. Naughty, naughty red chips. All right, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna make um, apparently nothing. Actually, here's what we're gonna do actually. I'm gonna start making some of the, crafting the things for required for the armor piece. So let's go make how many do we need for it? We need uh, th five speed module threes, and five uh, efficiency module whatever things. All right, so what's the problem now? Because this uh, uh, just needs lots of processing units. It's kind of what this armor needs. Uh, as long as it's not making number one. Okay, we'll just we'll just let this go because this this takes a while, and honestly, I'm not really handcrafting anything anyways. So I mean, I could do it some other way, which is like, you know, to actually have it do that, but it's gonna take a few minutes to handcraft regardless, so I figure, you know, might as well just do it myself. Cause we, that's the, that's the armor piece that we want. Alright, so that's not looking that bad. Um, Alright, so with that being said, did I fucking misalign? I fucking misalign. Okay, you know what? Remember how I said there's no one in this plant that would re rework something just because it's off by one pixel? I lied. I'm the dirtiest liar you'll ever see. Let me get rid of some of this fuel, actually, that I have with me. I picked up from all the trains I've been working with. Let's see how the train yard's doing now. Alright, so this copper is actually just perfect. Um, so this is, this is actually really good, how it's doing this now. Uh, so they're now waiting here. So now, like, uh, it's the our little, like, episode of, you know, inefficiencies or whatever. is not, and, and we can actually see that we could potentially support another line of copper. So we actually, I'm so glad I didn't waste my time going out there and trying to get more copper. I want to do fun things, honestly. Like, like reworking a fucking green chip line for the seventh time. I mean, you and me probably have very different, very different, very different, different definitions of fun. But again, we probably don't because you're uh, you're on part thirty of watching me uh, fuck around with my factory. So that's good. And thank you for staying. Lovely time we're having here. But don't worry, don't worry. Well, we'll be good. We'll be good. We'll be good. All right. So I'm hoping this will be the last green chip line that we need. Hoping. And praying, but you know. All right, so here's how we're gonna do it. Oh, we're gonna just let this thing kind of build up first. Oh, actually, I was gonna do stuff with that, wasn't I? Fuck. Yeah, let me go get some more steel or whatever the fuck this chemical plants need. And right, we need pipes too. Yeah, whatever. I, I know you're trying to build stuff, but like, we, we got we got problems, guys. We got problems. I like talking to my bots. Oh fuck, we really do need to fucking... Okay. Uh, this is half done, so we're gonna just let it finish. We lost. Okay, now they're all slow because they're like, wham, out of power. Okay. Can you guys just stop? All right, there's no one else. All right, so let's get some more pipes and some more pipes after that. All right, pretty good. Actually, we need even more of these straight pipes, I think. All right, now let's head down there again. How's my inventory full? That's why, all right. Actually, wait, where's the, it probably dropped it somewhere. Maybe it didn't. So what I mean, like the train randomly drops somewhere, like why? 
Why would it do such a thing to me? All right. What do you go into here? So while these bots are kind of just doing their thing, we're going to copy and paste. Uh, it's going to be like that much. And this is where we hope that we actually don't need more water than this, but I mean, easy way of fixing that is just to add another offshore pump somewhere. You need, what kind of power do you get assholes need? Why aren't you powered? Who knows? All right, so this should fix a lot of the issues with our uh, light oil being naughty. Yeah, it just it doesn't know how to get rid of it here. I mean, the easiest solution to that would be to have it on, go on the other side too, but it's because, yeah, these are, these are kind of getting full. It's trying its best to put it in there. This is kind of where pipe dynamics kind of comes in, I think. Uh, like I said, I, I can't be too sure about that, what the issue here is, but it's, it's definitely having a problem removing the light oil from here. So... I mean, I just want to make petroleum. Yeah, I can honestly probably say it's it's most likely. Yeah, what the fuck? It really is like. Yeah, it is kind of getting rid of it slowly, but I think there's just not enough room in the pipes. However, it actually seems to be equalizing. Look at that. They're actually getting rid of it now. So uh, hopefully we'll never need more than this. And petroleum is going up to about 10k, so we're good. Okay, so let's let's focus on this thing now because I want to end the episode soon on on a high note, which is us getting our. Uh, all our production back in, in business. All right, so start off with that. So here's how we're going to solve this issue. So uh, here's what we're gonna say. We're gonna have a blue splitter somewhere here. Oh. Actually, a blue splitter right here and this. Output priority is to the right, and then it splits it again. So, basically one of these uh, copper things will probably suffer sometimes. You see how it's like a little bit not always there? But that is fine, I think, because it'll work most of the time. Um, I think that's all that's really needed for this. Just some of it won't make it all to the end, okay, sue me. All right, and then we put this guy back through here. The, rigor the rigorous trials and tribulations of Factorio are almost to an end. And I don't know where the fuck we're gonna get iron from, honestly. I haven't quite decided that. And why have I worked this out in such a disgusting way? Okay. All right, all right. It actually needs to be like this. There you go. Fortunately, we now need to figure out how to get iron here. I'm hoping that the line over here will be okay, but who knows. Like, really, who knows? Maybe one of those auxiliary lines should come up there. Yeah, that's what I'll do, actually. So, I think... Wh which one was the auxiliaries? The, I think it was the, the two over here. I'm going to have one of them say output priority to the left. And bring it back up. Uh, hopefully this is uh, only slightly triggering for some of you. I don't even know if this is tricky. I don't even know if I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, oh, this is gonna be blue belted anyways. What the fuck am I doing? Whatever. Let's just let's just let's try not disconnecting it. All right. So this is how we're gonna do it. This could be something like this guy. So first off, I'm gonna go right here. 
and it's going to divert whatever it is I didn't use up to here to and there you go and the last one is right here and that should be it so this guy is now going to be a good old red belt of chips that goes into somewhere I don't know where the fuck it's gonna go I have to combine it somehow over here. It's one of the eternal problems though. So I think what's going to happen is it's actually going to go here this way. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Alright. So I'm going to combine onto one splitter of the blue kind. Oops. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's shit, dude. Fuck. Uh, fuck. One's still in there. Alright. Um, I, I, I don't know how that happened. Finger slipped or something. I don't know. Fuck. Alright. Uh, wait, that's not the right type of belt. Alright, this should be a little bit better. Uh, where, where, where are my green chips going? They're like over here somewhere. Alright. I know it's on a red belt right now. I'm just I'm cleaning stuff up right now. So I'm gonna say input priority for this guy is gonna be on the left side. This way it utilizes more of that line. Uh, man, this is confusing me. Holy shit! I think I think I think priority splitters are now the worst thing about it to the game because I now want to use them all the time and uh, to try and make them much better. But yeah, whatever. Ta-da! All right, lads, I'll put priority to the right, and this is how we make more red chips as well. On top of that. Holy fucking shit. We actually have a lot of things here. That's a lot of uh, chips. Do I need to like red belt this or something? I don't know. Maybe we'll red belt it just so it goes as, as quickly as possible. You don't have enough room. Well, why the fuck do I have wooden chests still? Why do I have coal? What, like, how do I always end up with coal? I, d I don't understand. I, every time I look at my inventory, I have coal for some reason. Alright, let's make more speed modules. Alright, we're gonna make one speed module one. That's okay. Alright, so. What have we learned from this? Let's, uh, before we end it, let's, um, make sure we... We always have to make sure after every episode we've learned something. About ourselves. Or something along those lines. Alright. So, we're diverting as much as possible over here. Alright, so this is going to be a little bit faster. It's going to, yeah, it's going to basically eat all of the chips, but that's fine with me. I'm okay with that, because we actually need them. The hope is that the, the red chips get backed up, you know. Um, okay, so lesson learned is that this is the superior train that I feel. I feel like we're actually now utilizing 100% of our, our train capacity. Because, as I said, there's more of them now stopped and loading up, which is not what was happening before. Uh, before they were being stupid and not loading up, so. I mean, this one's almost done, so we're, we're, we are going to need more copper soon. How soon is a very good question. Um, I, I apparently made this go all the way over here for some reason. Whatever. But yeah, uh, we do have two copper mines. At least it's not as dire as I thought it was before. Uh, we could eventually do the same thing for the iron, but I don't. Th I don't feel like we have to. This may actually be enough stations, and I say it every time, but and then it's never enough stations. 
But yeah, it looks like uh, we're doing actually a proper, appropriate job with uh, offloading our train, so that's good. It's unfortunate though that like this is not really balanced this way, but then again, it bounces over here, so maybe for some reason it'll work out. I don't know. So uh, let's see how our ch uh, how our blue chips are doing. So now we almost have a blue belt full. Well, okay, let's not say almost. Let's say it's like a uh, a fucking two four two thirds or maybe three fourths of a blue belt of green chips, and it makes it basically down to about half to what I was originally planning on it being. Um, so it's not as bad as I imagined before, but you know that's that's just how things go. But it looks like the the blue chips are actually now as well making it to the end. While well, they're making it better there, uh, anyways. Um, I mean, most of them are going in that one direction, anyways. So I mean, if we were to upgrade it again, it would be the same deal as before. Um, you know, just upgrade everything. Let's just make sure that the the yeah, because the copper lines here are basically just you know, it, it's not working at full capacity. So if we had it work at full capacity. It'd likely be a little bit better. Um, I mean, we may need to actually... Alright, so... Hmm. Here's the thing. I could use maybe another furnace, but I actually don't need so many... Sorry, I don't need so many trains right now. Um, so, like, I would like to get maybe another one going, and I don't know where it's going to make the furnaces. Maybe, like, up there. I'll just bring all the... So, I'm just I'm just thinking out loud here. If I were to make more green chips, uh, where would they go? Is the question. No, you know what? We don't have the copper to support it. We really we actually really don't. We do, we really don't have the copper to support another another train line. But is all the copper leaving this? Yeah, it's it's all being used in the factory. So, I mean, maybe maybe if we wait, or maybe if we productivity module these, or maybe if we just stop making productivity modules, then maybe the copper issues will solve themselves. I'm not sure. But the other thing it would appear is that the, the red chips are actually just kind of 100% now. Which is good. I mean, I did solve it. And what's weird is that the, the plastic may not actually be making it to the end anymore. And even though it's a full red belt full of it, which means you may need a faster belt. Look at that. Look at it go. Okay, so the important thing to note is that it doesn't actually u utilize anything here, so let's just get rid of these. That's insane, though. How fast this goes. Plastic bars, man. This is the kind of situation where we hope we don't need any more red chips than this. This is a lot of fucking red chips, man. But it's making a lot more on the bus, though. Like, it just, it actually just appears to fix itself now. Like I said, it's one of those things that I think will just solve itself in time. Um, and with the, the use of priority splitters and stuff, it's actually really nice, so. Alright, for next time, I'm not exactly sure what's going to go on, because, um... Maybe we should just keep identifying uh, problematic areas, but then again, like, you know, maybe, maybe we'll just, you know, I, I think as we get productivity models, maybe maybe this won't even be necessary to do, you know? This is kind of why I was making that stuff to begin with. Uh, but yeah. Oh yeah, I'm gonna make, uh, I'm gonna fix the furnace layout. I'm gonna think about what to do next with us, because it's like, we now have high-tech science. I know the red chips aren't exactly making it to the end here. I'm not sure why that is. Um, and nor do I really care to spend hours on end with this. As I said, I think if it, I think if something just gets backed up, I think it'll be fine. And you know, to leave us off. I think a good idea would be to look at this and how how this works now. This is very nice. How this works. For some reason, blue science seems to be uh. What the hell? What's wrong with this thing? Oh, it's not getting yellow science. Yellow science is only at the beginning. Luckily, well, with those are the ones that are actually productivity modules, so they're actually benefiting the most from having it in the first place. So, 
you can see that this is uh, adding a lot of productivity. If you actually look at the power requirements, it's now um, 155 kilowatts opposed to a standard one, which is uh, 60 kilowatts. But productivity is plus 20%. Um, speed is plus 68%. Why is the speed increased? Oh, yeah, it's actually not increased. It's because the bonus I have to research speed. Uh, that's actually getting lowered because the speed is normally 140%. So that's why that's why productivity modules in science machines is actually really good because it gets an innate bonus on its own. Um, and so as I said, every time this purple bar fills up, it just makes another unit of research or whatever the hell for free. Uh, so I don't, it's nice. It's very nice actually. So but we have it the way we have it. Uh, it's very nice that they allow us to do things like that. So... Yeah, this is how we're going to leave the science off, and like, as I said, I'll extend it more to the right if I feel like it's going too slow. But as of this very moment, that, that isn't the problem. The problem is components are not making it to the end of this. Which, by the way, you can productivity module these two. Uh, that's why we're going to just have this thing going all the time. I just find it funny that red chips just became an issue all of a sudden, because they're being used in literally everything. It's just funny how that works out, you know. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to see what to do about that. So, anyways, yeah. So I'll um, I don't know. As I said, I'll work on some of the the shittier stuff later. Petroleum is looking still pretty good. Yeah, but now it's where we want it to be. It's going up slowly. How's our oil? Full. That's pretty much just it. It's full. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Uh, peace out, guys. See ya.